Hey guys. Well, since the other guy's not here, let's talk about tracking and all the evil things you can do with it. With tracking, you can... Oh god! Will you shut up? You can use tracking to trace the motion of objects and people in your footage and then attach evil elements to them, like, like this dude's fake halo. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Here's a clip of Walter running across the scene. Let's track his head and attach a halo to it. First, open the motion tracker controls by going to Window Tracker. A small tool window containing all the controls you need for motion tracking will appear on your screen. Make sure you have your footage layer selected and then click on Track Motion. Since we also want to track any rotation of Walter's head, make sure that the rotation checkbox is ticked. You should now see two track points on your footage layer connected by a white line. Before we go any further, we will need a place to store our tracking data. A null object will be perfect for that. Create a new null object by selecting Layer, New, Null Object. I'm going to call mine Head Track. A null object is really just a placeholder that can be used to store information such as position, scale, rotation or custom properties. You can then animate these properties and use the null object to control other layers in your composition. We will use our null object to store the position and rotation we will get from tracking Walter's head and then use it to control the position of the halo. Now let's get to the tracking. Notice that each of the track points consists of two rectangles. The inner rectangle specifies which part of the image will be tracked. The outer rectangle specifies the area of the image that will be analyzed each frame to locate the contents of the inner one. If the object you want to track is moving very far each frame, the outer rectangle will have to be larger. Let's scroll to a frame where Walter's head is fully in the shot and position the two track points. You want to position them on very high contrast and easy to identify areas of your footage. This ensures that they can easily locate the element you want to track and don't start to drift off. I'm going to place them on the back of Walter's head as well as on the hairline. Make sure that the outer rectangle of the track points is large enough so that Walter's head remains inside them from frame to frame. Once we're done with that, we can start the tracking process by clicking on the Analyze Forward button in the tracker window. After Effects, we'll now process the footage frame by frame and try to keep track of the back of Walter's head as well as his hairline. If your track points do drift off the elements you're trying to track, you can stop this process at any point in time. Then reposition your track points and continue analyzing from where you stopped. There. If we now scroll through our footage, we can see the track points follow Walter's head as expected. Once we are happy with our tracking data, we need to apply it to our null object. For this, click on Edit Target, select the head track layer and click OK. Then click Apply, select X and Y and hit OK. If everything went well, you should now see the null object follow Walter's head correctly as we play back the footage. I'm just quickly going to fix up the position and rotation of the null object for when Walter enters and exits the scene. Finally, to make use of this null object that now contains our tracking data, the last thing we have to do is link our halo layer to it. Here's a halo I have prepared earlier. Go to any frame and position the halo correctly over Walter's head. Now, parent the halo to our head track by selecting the pick whip item on the halo layer and dragging it onto the head track layer. This specifies that any change in position, scale or rotation of the head track layer will automatically be applied to our halo layer. Now, if we play back the clip, the halo should follow Walter's head correctly as he scurries across the room. To enhance the effect, I'm going to add a halo light that I can then parent either to the head track or to the halo layer. Well, any comments, questions or suggestions, please leave them in the section below. Until next time, I will see you later. <laughs>